Hi, I'm Maria from Crochet A to Z, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button. And if you have, thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. And today, I want to show you how to make this really granny square triangle. I actually call it the granny triangle. And I made it without a border. If you want to follow in the regular granny square, you can make a border whatever color you want, and that's when you, if you want to put them together that way. But I'm going to show you just how easy this is to make. And what I used for this pattern is I did use a Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling, and this is it. It's a medium weight four. It tells you everything you need to use, and this is the color. And I used an H hook, 5.00 millimeter hook. So I did my slip knot, and now we're going to chain one, two, three, four. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go right in here, and you're going to yarn over and make a double crochet right in that first chain. Your working chain does not count as a double crochet or a chain. It counts as a working chain and your slip knot does not count as anything other than your slip knot. So we, we are going to make three double crochets and that chain three here is counting as a double crochet. So you have four double crochets. You're going to chain two always, and you're going to go back right into this same spot, and you're going to make four more double crochets right in the same spot. Two, three, four. You're going to chain two, one, two. I want you to see what you've got here. You're going to make four more double crochets. One, two, three, four. You're going to chain two, always. Now in this third chain that we made, we're going to do a slip stitch. So now I want you to see what you have here. Now what you're going to do after you do that, you're going to chain one, two, three. After you chain three, you're going to chain two more times. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your corner, which is here, where your chain twos are, right here, and you're going to make a double crochet. And these are considered your corners. So you're going to make four double crochets in your corner. And I'm going to go slow, like I said, so you can follow me. Now you're going to chain two. One, two. You're going right back in here. You're going to make four more double crochets in your corner. You're going to chain two. One, two. You're going to go into this next 
water and you're going to make four double crochets. Now you're going to chain two. These are your corners and you'll see as you go along what that means. So you're going to make four more double crochets right in your corner. So there you go. you're going to chain two. So here you are, right in here, you're going to make four double crochets, one, two, three, four and then see your corners you're going to chain two one two four more actually three more double crochets but it's going to equal out to four and you're going to see why so so you're going to make three double crochets but you're gonna see why in a minute you made something that you made. You're going to grab this, one, two, three. The third one, you're gonna do a slip stitch in that spot. And see your corners? Those are your corners. And that's, that all that, that you did, those chains, that ended up picking up and making a double crochet. So there's your four. So now what you're going to do after you do that is you're going to chain one, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. Then you're going to do three double crochets in here. Think of this as your side. Let me just pull this out so it'll come out a little easier because of the way I wrapped this. And chain two all the time. And if you don't do this, you're gonna know. And I'm gonna show you why. If you don't make your chain two, and you do this and you forget to do it, I'm gonna show you what happens. You're gonna go in here, right? So watch, you're gonna yarn over and go in here. It's gonna kinda, of, it's gonna pull. There's an emptiness, it's gonna pull, it's not gonna be right. So you are gonna know if you forget a step, so no worries, you pull it out, you fix it, chain two. Now you're going to go in your corner, the four and the four with the chain two in the middle. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna make four double crochets. And then you're in your corner, you're gonna chain one, two. You're gonna make four more double crochets because you're in your corner. See it? So there's your four your four, your chain two. Now, you're always gonna 
chain two. And you're gonna go, think of this as your side. You're gonna go in your side and you're gonna make four double crochets. So that is your side two, three, four. So now you're going to chain one, two. So now you're going into your corner again. So now you're gonna make your four double crochets. If you forget to do your set, your two sets, you're gonna know. It's gonna be short. You're gonna notice it right away because you're in your corner and it's not full. So now you could do your four double crochets. Then you chain one, two, and then you do four more because you're in your corner. Two, three, right? And I want you to see, see how it's shaping up? Chain two, one, two. Now, think of this as your side. You're in your side. You're gonna do four double crochets. You're in your side, you're gonna do four doubles. See, one more. Chain two. You're at your point again, are you at your, so now you're going to do your corner. Think of it as your corner, your point, whatever makes it easy for you. So you're going to do four, one, two, three, four. You're going to chain two, one, two. You're going to do four more. One, two, three, four. And I'm just, I want to go slow so you can follow what I'm doing. Now you're going to chain, always chain two, following your double crochets of four. And you're going to go into third chain and you're going to do a slip stitch. Now, here it is right here. Here's your triangle. Now, what's going to happen here, and you're going to notice you're going to have to do this every other row. You're going to do a chain one, because what's going to happen is some, on some rows, you're going to land next to one of these that you can just start and every other row, you're gonna land where you already have four double crochets. So what happens when you do that? You chain one, two, three. After you chain three, you chain one, two. Now, you're going to jump right in here into your side. It's gonna bring you right over and this is gonna happen every other row. You're gonna go right in there. You're going to make your four double crochets. It's gonna be like clockwork that you're gonna know that that's what you're gonna do 
uh, depending on how many rows of this you make, how big you want this triangle to be. So that's, you know, up to you. So once you do that, so again, think of that as your side. You're going to chain two. And you're going to go right back up into your point, your triangle, your corner, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to chain two and then four double crochets because you're in yet that corner, you're going to chain two and then you're going to do four more double crochets because it's your corner. It's your triangle point. And you're going to do this without even thinking about it. It's going to just come second nature once you get the hang of this. It's real easy. You're going to chain two as always. And then you're going to go again now into your side. And you're going to notice that your sides, because it's getting bigger, your side parts are adding up. You're getting more. Instead of just have one side to go and you'll have two. If you make another but triangle even bigger, you'll have four. So the sides will grow as your project grows. So you made the four, chain two. You're going again into a side. Chain two and four double crochets. And I have tutorials on how to make double crochets, slip stitches, all of that information. So if you need to do that, that's fine. You can go on to the tutorials. Now, you're back in your corner, your top of, you know, whatever you want to call it, your triangle point, whatever. And you're going to, after you chain two, you're going to make your four double crochets. your chain two, one, two, and four more double crochets. So here we go. And again, you're gonna chain one, two, you're back to your sides because you made your point or your, you know, your corner. And you're going to do four double crochets. Chain two, one, two. You're still in your side. get it so that I'm and you make gonna make four double crochets I have a certain way of like holding and whatever and if I, I like it to go a certain way because I crochet kind of tight so now we're gonna chain two one two you're back at your point, you're back at your corner, whatever you, like I said, whatever you want to call it. See, you have the four and four, the two chains in the middle. You're going to go right in there. Two. Three. Four. Chain two. One, two. Now, you're going to do four more double crochets in your corner, your point, 
whatever you put, whatever you call it, because I we have different names when we're crocheting of what we're what, what part of the crochet, what part we're in. So now chain two. And now you're at your side again. So what you're going to do is you're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. We're at the top of that, those chains that we did when we did the chain three and, and then on top of that, we did two more chains. So one, two, three, we're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to pull that right in and that's going to cause our four double crochets. It's so neat how it happens. So now again, what I was telling you about this is what happens is now you're in a spot where you can just go in and just chain three, one, two, three, and then make your three double crochets. And that chain three will count as a double crochet and you go around again. And in the next round, you'll be doing the chain three plus the two because you'll end up here and you'll have to go over. So that's why I say to you in this round, you'll be able to do your chain three and move on. In the next round, you'll be at this spot and you'll have to do your chain three plus your chain two and it'll move you over here to what we did here. So I wanted to show you that so that you got here and then got here. So I wanted to show you that and, and kind of bring that home so that you'll know every other one will be, you know, a chain three plus two to bring you over to the spot that you need to go over to. So this is how you make your granny square triangle. Like I said, I like to call it a, a granny triangle and it's real easy to make and easy to follow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, as much as I helped enjoyed making it. And if you have any questions, please, please put them in, you know, in question and ask in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer any questions. I also have an email address at um, crochet A to Z at, um, and it is crochet A to Z, the same as this channel, and it's at gmail.com. So if you want to either email me or just leave a comment, please feel free to do so, whichever is easier for you. Uh, you can get me at the same call letters, crochet A to Z. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to like that. Push that like button if you enjoyed this. And again, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I really enjoyed making this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you and have a great day. And see you later. Bye.